All right, let's think. Let's think our way through the definite integral based on what we know about the one-dimensional case in terms of a limit of Riemann sums. We want to take a similar limit of sums over ever smaller pieces or samples. So when we're working in n-dimensional space, let's discretize. Let's divide our n up into cubes, or in general, hypercubes, of some fixed size, and then let's shrink that size. Now, what is this going to look like? Well, let's say that f is our integrand on our n. The integral of f is going to be a limit of Riemann sums over a grid of cubes in n dimensions, where those cubes all have side length delta x. This is a straightforward generalization of the one-dimensional case where we had intervals of width delta x. What would this look like in 2D? In 2D, we would fill the plane up with squares of side length delta x and then sample the function there. In 3D, we would fill up three-dimensional space with cubes of side length delta x. And in higher dimensions, you're going to have to use your imagination. But the integral of f of x dx over rn over all of n-dimensional space, wow, let's hope that integrand uh, gets small as you go out towards infinity, that integral is going to be defined as a limit as delta x goes to zero from the right of the following Riemann sum. I take the cube of side length delta x, I look at its volume in nd, which is delta x to the n. Then I choose xi a point in each cube, in the ith such cube. I evaluate the function there, add up all those cubes, and then take the limit of these sums as delta x goes to zero, as this grid size shrinks, and we get a finer and finer mesh. That is the definition of the integral in terms of a Riemann sum. Now, the formula looks bad, but the Riemann sum itself does not look bad. You can visualize this. Maybe it would help to think in terms of the integrand as something like a density, where I'm breaking up my domain into small pieces, chunks. I add up all of the masses of these individual elements by assuming that the density is approximately constant on each such element. Now, you can really visualize that both in 2D and in 3D, and with a little bit of imagination, you can make sense of that in higher dimensions as well. Now, Riemann sums, they're not simple, they're not straightforward, but we can work with the intuition in order to make sense of the definite integral.